Hi guys, this is Paul Duffy from Advanced Electronics. Uh, just bringing to you a, a quick video tutorial on flash programming your control panels. Uh, quite important, uh, part of your service and maintenance, uh, always try and keep your panels up to date with the, the latest features and changes. Uh, literally a two to three minute process, but it'll be like having a, a brand new control panel. Right guys, back to the, the PC. So what we do is we click the start menu okay in the start menu we should have a program installed called dynamics tools um, in dynamics tools we're looking for the flash programming software this software is freely available to download from our website when you install the software it generally installs this program um, and this is what we use to update our control panels so click the flash program okay open up the flash programming tool um, as part of downloading the Flash program software, you should log into your Advanced 360 account. You can see I'm logged in, and what we do is we go to download software. We download the software, download all the latest config tools and the latest hex files. Hex files are what we use, that's the operating firmware of the control panel. So we click a folder icon, okay. When you open your folder, um, you can see the, the different hex files that are available on our website, so MX5053.43. You can see by the date, this is the very latest version. So any old control panels you come across, you can flash upgrade with the latest version, and it will be like having a brand new control panel. Okay. Now, pretty important, you see this little chip icon, program the, the firmware. We click the chip icon, and there's a, a warning, do you want to confirm? Please ensure a full backup of the system is available as all data will be erased. Once we complete this process, it will put the panel back to factory default as if it's a brand new control panel. So as good practice, um, you'll have a backup of the software in your office, a backup of the site. Just It's telling you now, just take a backup if you haven't done so already. Um, do you want to continue the flash program? Yes. So I'm going to select yes. Okay. And it's telling you what you need to do. Set the jumper to the program position as shown and then press the, the reboot switch. Okay, so once we move this jumper switch across, we've got about a 10 second window before we can then click OK. So I just need to follow this process. So we're going to move the, the jumper switch from the, the run position because the process is running into the program position. And notice the heartbeat LED will go out. So you'll see this manually if I switch cameras. Right guys, if I just switch to uh, my control panel, um, so we'll open up our panel door. Um, the process is just telling us simply to plug in to the, the USB. It's a B-type cable, as you can see. It's obviously a, like, a, like a printer cable. B-type USB it is classed as. Once you plug in your, jump, your USB cable, um, simply move the run and program jumper switch. Obviously observing the heartbeat indication, one second on, one second off. Um, once you move it, move it into program position, press the reboot switch, and that will reinitialize. So you've got about a 10 second window to get back to your PC. Um, once you get back to your PC, you can then obviously click OK and proceed with the, the flash update. OK, so jump my switch has moved across, heartbeat's out. Press the reboot switch, we've got about a 10 second window to click OK from pressing that reboot switch. Click OK. Uh, the PC is going to initialize communications. Um, once it's established communications, it's then going to start the programming phase. So you can see here now it's starting to the programming, currently at 5%. Uh, this has to work its way all the way up to 100% to completely update the, the firmware. So it should literally take about no more than 60 seconds to, to two minutes max. Uh, just a few important uh, notes. Um, obviously the, the flash programming software version, you can see if you click on the help file, that'll be software version 3.2. That's the latest version you can download from our website. And, and just remember to make sure if your laptop you're using to update your firmware, uh, make sure it's got sufficient charge so it obviously doesn't downpower halfway through the, the process. Uh, but it's pretty quick as you can see, uh, counting up to 30% uh, I'm just waiting for it to get to 100%. Uh, uh, it is also worth no noting, um, always log into your Advanced 360 account every six months as a, a minimum. 
um, just to make sure you've got the latest software tools available as well as the latest text files again like your like your PC your PC always updates um, so there's no reason why your, your control panel shouldn't be updated it just keeps you ahead of the game um, for adding new devices features and changes bug fixes and stuff like that so always keep your keep your panels up to date um, the panel will start to buzz obviously if it's on a network it will generate a, a network fault as we're going through this process remember it's putting the panel back to factory default and updating the operating firmware so it will display no communications logo the buzzer will start to operate uh, but that's a normal operation you can mute the buzzer if it goes off currently at uh, 63 percent um, not full it does take longer when you're watching it as well <laughs> right we're just nearing completion 85 percent and it will give you a, a simple process to to follow so 99 100 percent it's now telling you programming complete so if i click ok once you click ok it's telling you to move the jumper switch back into the run position you can obviously hear the buzzer and press the reboot switch okay click ok and that is your control panel now up to date brand new panel back to factory default and ready to upload your your programmer i hope this has helped uh, if you have any queries don't hesitate to contact us thanks guys